All right, guys, so as you see, wasn't that bad running the wire. I became a master at it since I had to do it a whole bunch of times. Guys, obviously, before you start doing anything electrical on the car, especially if you have to tap in or test fuses or anything, disconnect the battery terminal. Just disconnect the negative or the positive, whichever one you want. Um, so this is run. Let's just see something here real quick. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna time lapse. I'm gonna be putting fog tape on the gauge real quick, then the rubber, then putting it into the pod right here. Now, as I said, the black and the green wire, that goes through the firewall. Now this is this black wire right here. Um, this is your ground. The yellow wire, this is your permanent connection. This keeps your settings. See right here, that's the yellow wire right here. I'm gonna tap right into that. So that keeps your color settings. The switched connection the, is the red. Once you turn the ignition on, that's what powers the gauges. Now the orange wire, I never used. All the orange wires are for if you connect it to a lighting source. So when the, let's so this car has DRL. So like say, for instance, depending on the lighting, when it gets dark outside, what it'll do, it'll dim the gauges, but I don't use the orange. So that's about that. Anyway, let me just, uh, put the gauge in the pod and this uh, run the gauge through here and let's run the wire down. So the gauge is in, perfectly set. As you see right here, guys, two to three revolutions of some frog tape, and then you put the rubber gasket around it, and that thing is in there snug. It ain't moving. So now, just feed the wires back down. I'll show you where to hook it up, and let's go to the hood real quick. Um, let's uh, start cutting that coolant line and attaching the sensor. All right, guys, so you want to do this while the car is nice and cool. So when you remove that radiator hose and cap, it's not going to splash all over you and cause both types of burns. And what you see cut out is me wrapping the NPT port sensor with Teflon tape before I thread it into the adapter. All right, guys, so in the time lapse, you, you saw me uh, drain the excess coolant into uh, container and part of it was kind of cut out what I did was I put a couple revolutions of Teflon tape on the NPT on the sensor and then you start screwing the sensor then you start you know it's a 14 millimeter wrench so screwing it in guys you don't over tighten it's probably a tapered thread so you'll feel the resistance don't over tighten the Teflon tape definitely helps to prevent any leaks that's the inside of it right there and it's gonna be legit going right here. So now it looks like I gotta cut the pipe right here. Um, this looks like about an inch wide. So an inch is gonna go in between this right here. So let me see. Yep, so pretty much an inch of hose, around an inch, like three quarters of an inch is gonna be coming out and then I'll be just sandwiching this in the middle. And then the two provided clamps that they give you, tighten it up, and then that's it. All right, guys, this is the finished setup right here. Actually, forgive me, I thought I was recording, but when I was actually cutting the pipe, um, this is the excess right here. That's the excess. So this actually fits really, really nice and snug right there. Once I'm finished, I'm gonna let it run to make sure nothing is, you know, I'm gonna just let it run until it gets really, really hot, make sure nothing touches or anything. I already put the excess coolant back into the radiator. Uh, when I'm done, I'm just gonna just wash anything down just in case um, there was, you know, and, and there was really no decent amount of spillage because, you know, I caught everything. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, all I got to do now 
is just hook up the uh, green and black wire to these fittings right here. Plug them in, heat them up, that's it. Everything decide, I'm a little bit wiser now. Took up the blindness now. Where did my life go out? Thank God I figured it out. Feeling so happy right now. No more you bring me down. All right, guys, so this is the finished product under the hood. I just ran some wire loom just to make it look a little more pleasant. It actually looks pretty dope. All the antifreeze is poured back in, as I said, and we're ready to go inside and finish the wire connections. There we go. All right, so now we're inside the car. These are the three wires that we need for the inside. Red goes to red right here. The red is the switch connection, as I said. Yellow for yellow and black. The black wire is right here. Boom. So ground switch connection and this is the permanent the permanent is remembering your color settings so here we go all right so from the time lapse guys the three main wires i was concerned with was the red yellow and this black right here so the red tapped into the red, which is the switch connection. That's That activates the gauge when you turn the ignition on. The yellow, that's the permanent connection. That's what keeps the color settings for the gauge and obviously the ground. And what I did was I took the rest of the grounds, pulled the tap off, wired all three, connected, you know, twist tied all three grounds together and tapped into one ground. And obviously this here is temporary. When I put the next gauge in, I'll be joining both. So I'm gonna take this tap out Join both of the reds, connected in here. Join both of the yellows, connected in here. Now let's see if this bad boy gets some power. Here we go, hold on. Ugh. Ready? Oh shit. We got action. Now I'm gonna start it up. Make sure there's no leaks under the hood. You might see some steam because I washed everything out with water. Here we go. that color shift so freaking dope man so dope just like a cockpit all right let's check out under the hood all right guys here we are no leaks no leaks whatsoever just some vapor from the uh, water i washed off so we're good to go, good to go. See that beautiful glow shift emblem right there. Nothing coming from the uh, NPT port where the sensor is. Nothing coming from right here. We're good to go. And guys, again, make sure you top off your fluids, please. Top off your coolant. Very important. Don't forget that. So we're good to go. Once it builds up enough pressure, <coughs> check for more leaks then too and obviously it works see the temperature going up yep 99 100 bad boys working just like the rest the perfect readout right here cooling temperature 190 from idling access port 192 so it's just also it's being referenced from two oh 190 190 but they're being referenced from two different places to bear that in mind. The sensor for the glow shift one is all the way to the front. Pretty, pretty accurate. Beautiful installation. And guys, I will see you guys next time where we install the other gauge, which is the oil temperature sensor right here. All right, guys, thank you, and I will talk to you guys soon. About to button this bad boy back up.
and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.